at that. It's a little baby lorry. So this is what I've been pottering around in um, for the last week or so. Uh, this and we've got some strange little Mitsubishi things. Uh, they're fun. So yeah, that's me, refrigerated dinky lorry. So we're going to have a little look inside. We're going to get wiped out by that on the way. Good biggin. Right, in we go. So I'm out of Belper here at the minute. Uh, just out on the outskirts of Belper, I'm on my break. So, right, what we got there, so we've got the phone order for Wobble Cam. That's why my videos always wobble when I'm doing driving videos. Uh, that's my sat nav there. That's one of them eBay specials. It actually has not let me down once yet. It's it's really quite good. Um, obviously, up here you've got your, your taco, your radio. No smoking. Uh, I think that might be something to do with the refrigeration. I'm sure it is. Because I know there's one in one of the other vehicles that's got a switch to switch the actual refrigeration on. In this one, I've got it here on that little box there. So if I flick that on, we're minus one degrees at the moment. And this here is like an immobiliser. And I've got them little pub style key fobs look that I use there just to get the bloody thing going. Uh, that there is a safe. Uh, it's very rare, but because a lot of customers are on um, like account, but we might get the odd cash or check that just slides in there, and the keys come back from the depot. Obviously, height thing that has to be displayed at all times. That's uh, 11 foot 11 is actually higher than the class twos. Uh, yeah, the the tippers, the eight wheelers that I was driving. I'm sure they were like 10 foot nine. So I have to bear that in mind. Uh, especially we we little bridges and stuff. Um, that's where again that sat nav comes in handy because I can I put the height in on that one. So that's quite good. Z trusty flask. All my delivery notes. And yeah, that's pretty much it for in here. It's nothing special to be honest. So anywho. So yeah, I've got. Um, where am I going next? I'm going to Turnditch. Then Duffield, uh, then I've got a delivery at Denby Pottery, and then I'm off down to Ilkeston. I think I've got two butcher shops to deliver to there, and then back to base. So it's quarter past one at the minute, so I'm about a quarter of an hour into my break. And yeah, uh, the job so far, yeah, it's straightforward. I'm not, I'm not got any issues with it at all. I've um, the only. The only, I won't say it's stressful because it's not really. The only sort of hassle you get sometimes is being able to park in place. When you get to places like Ripley, uh, it, you can't. Obviously, after a certain time of day, you can't drive up the the paved area. So you have to find somewhere sort of circling around it. You got to find somewhere to park. And then, like today, I got a sack truck full of stuff, and I was wheeling that with one hand. And then I got a load of like your takeaway style chip trays type things in in the other hand wheeling that up. It's again minor minor issues. It's not you know it's no great stress or anything. And that's that's the thing with this job. So far, I we we, we load like dry goods on in the evening, um, such as boxes of things that don't need any refrigeration. And then in the morning we put all the meat on and pastry and things like that that need to be need to be cold. And uh, take it out, and it's not. You just get on with it. It's it's, it's relatively simple. A uh, good thing, another plus thing about this is that the transport managers seem really good. Um, they will help you with anything, uh, whether it's you know you're unsure which way round to do the run, they'll they'll go through that with you. The if if you need to phone them, they pick up straight away. Unlike you know, so the other place I used to find it quite difficult. To, to get hold of anyone uh, or get a call back if you'd rang them and waited, you know. So, yeah, it's dead easy. It's not the most exciting job in the world, but nor is it boring either. It's just, you know, I've got no issues with getting up, coming to work, doing it, and going home. You know, um, I've not 
not been any later than sort of five o'clock finishing and at all it's it's just been and it only takes me 10 10 minutes 15 minutes at the outside to get home uh, whereas again at the last place you could be talking hour and a half if there'd been an issue at you know junction 24 23 that sort of way so relatively good anyway I'll check in again next week because they're on about um, getting me on some of the routes on the Class 2s. Um, I'm covering Knott's Derby and Knott's Leicester at the minute. Uh, there is Lincolnshire, there is um, Suffolk, Norfolk, and there are, I think we go up to Newcastle sometimes as well. So that should be quite interesting. And yeah. I shall check in again in the next week sometime. Hope you have a nice weekend. I'm going to spin this round now and switch you off. Cheers. Bye.